good. We, you know, we saw there was a little bit of frustration, you know, when you were guarding Jokic yesterday, but all your teammates, you know, they spoke so positively of you after the game. Did they have any words of encouragement for you as you were trying to guard like a superstar player, the caliber of Jokic? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, they're they're helping me out as much as they can, and uh, you know, they got my back. They keep saying uh, they keep saying that, and uh, you know, I'm, I go out there, I try to play as hard as possible, and uh, do my job. And I know, I know, uh, they're always gonna have my back. Thanks for about next question. Uh, Visas from Dan there with you in Orlando. So. Um, Energy in like games. I think when we watch it, sometimes we're like, just why aren't they part of? Why aren't they getting harder? How hard is it when it's not for night to, to that sort of energy? And it's always a challenge, you know, especially when there's no fans in a, in, a, in the arenas. But uh, you know, we can't we can't not bring energy. You know, we got to bring it every night, and uh, we got to create it on our own and. Uh, it's a it's a challenge, but uh, we always gotta have energy, and uh, we can we can never use that as a as a excuse. Is it like a double edged sword because you guys know that you're good enough to do it like for a five minute stretch, like you know, like it's, 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 you have to be awesome. Even though I know you. I mean, it, it does it does have to be the whole game. You know, yesterday, uh, you know, we turned it on in the fourth quarter and. Uh, we won the game, but you know it, it was still a close game, and uh, you know we can't we can't we can't play like that. Like we gotta be we gotta be locked in with energy all 48 minutes. It's playoffs, really awesome. so every team is uh, really good, and uh, you know we we cannot you know start off easy like we've been this serious, and then try to get back into the game later. Uh, next question comes from Om. Go ahead, Om. Hey, Zoo, with that being said, when you guys did turn on your defense uh, at the end of the fourth quarter there, what did you think of Paul and Kawhi's defense? Was this kind of – and the whole unit on the floor, was this kind of what you envisioned in training camp of what, how good defensively these guys could be, especially Kawhi and Paul together? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we all know we all know they're one of the best two-way players in the league, and, uh, you know, and that's, what we, that's what we expect from them. Every night uh, they – that's what they expect from their, their, themselves every night. They they take on the challenge of guarding the best players, and uh, they're they're capable of uh, shutting them down. And uh, you know it's a big advantage for us. Uh, you know when it comes down the stretch, uh, you know to have your best player guard other best player and get a stop. And you know it it energizes the the whole team, and uh, you know it gives us a, it gives us a confidence on defense, and uh, later on when we get a stop on the offense too. Thanks, Om. Um, uh, go ahead, Miriam. Hi there, Zoo. Um, obviously, well, you, you mentioned sort of your teammates having your back and, and them wanting you to play physical against Jokic. Obviously, he's, he's quite a sly player. Um, what, do you learn something from every game you play against him? And like, what, what, what do you learn from a game like yesterday? No, there's, there's a lot. I think uh, every night, every night, uh, Especially, you know, his old star center. You know, every night there's something I can learn from the, from that matchup, and uh, you know, it's just uh, being physical. You know, I, I I can't worry about the you know breaths uh, and the fouls and all that. I gotta I gotta play physical, and uh, that's gonna give us the best chance to win. And uh, you know, like Pat said, I got six fouls this playoffs. I need to use them all and, uh, you know, just be just be physical. And uh, that's how I can help my teammates. And, uh, you know, I'm uh, from now on, I'm trying to, you know, play, play them as much as physical as I can. And uh, oh, next game, I got to be a little smarter with those fouls and uh, then we'll be good. Thanks, Uba. Next question comes from Tanya there in Orlando with you. Um, you talked before about why you wear enough on your jersey. Um, what have you learned over the past few months, even, or maybe even since you've been here in America, about the experience of American black people? I mean, uh, a lot ever since I got to the States. I, I, like, when I was outside, like I said, when I was looking in from outside uh, without ever being in the U.S., you know, watching the 
all the stuff in media, TVs, movies, everything seems like a perfect place. And, uh, you know, it, it, all, it took me to get here and, uh, you know, get to know my teammates better to realize, you know, what they went through growing up and uh, how hard it was for them. And, uh, you know, it's definitely, you know, from the people outside, like you can't, you can't really know what's going on until you get here, and uh, that's what I realized. And uh, you know, it's a, it's a great thing that's happening over here in uh, Orlando. You know, players are uh, speaking up, and uh, hopefully, it's going to lead to uh, major changes. Uh, next question is from Yovan. Hey, Zoo, uh, you guys have mixed up your pick and roll coverages versus the Jokic Murray pick and roll. Um, but what are the trade offs or, or what are the challenges, I guess, that you see from dropping versus switching or, or trying to trap? Like, what, what, what issues do they present when, when you kind of throw different looks at them? Uh, trapping is a, you know, it's a, it's a good thing for us, but, uh, you know, then you end up with a, Jokic with a ball in his hands uh, going four and three. And, uh, you know, we, we all know how, how good his passing skills are and uh, his ability to create for the others. And, uh, you know, that's, a, that's definitely a big challenge when you uh, trap on a pick and rolls. And, uh, you know, in, when you're in drop, when I'm in drop, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's harder when he pops. It's harder to close that gap when he gets the ball. So you know, it's a uh, they're they're a good team, and uh, every every coverage is not going to be perfect. But uh, you know, we just got to keep mixing it up and uh, keep playing hard. And uh, you know, I think uh, I think uh, that's yeah, that's what we got to do: keep mixing it up, play hard, and uh, we're going to be good. Uh, Vita, last question comes from Jared there in Orlando with you. I just want to go back to what you were saying about, you know, using your fouls. Um, you, you looked pretty emotionally frustrated when you fouled out, yeah. right? And so you had the opportunity, if you didn't foul, to finish the game on the court. What does that say about your own personal development? And how much pride do you take into the fact that you're in a position now? <laughs> how much pride do you take in, in your development that you're in a position now with this team to finish games against an all-star center like that, it's uh, it's amazing, you know. Is that's all I ever wanted when I when I got to the league, you know. For I started off in G League, and you know, I set I set a goal for myself to get a couple minutes in a game, and then after that, I wanted to get into rotation, and I wanted to be a starter. And my next goal is to, you know, be able to finish the games, and uh, you know, knowing that I. <laughs> that I put myself in that uh, opportunity to finish games and uh, that uh, coach trusts me to do that, uh, it's, it's great. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be setting my goals higher and higher every time. And, uh, you know, I just got to just gotta keep working. And uh, I think, uh, you know, I think uh, it all depends. You know, I got to bring the energy from the start and uh, to be able to finish the games, you know, I got to be able to bring it from the first minute. And, you uh, that's a, that's a big challenge for me, and uh, you know I'm still I'm still working on that. You know, getting prepared for the games better, and uh, you know being being more uh, you know uh, focused on the things I got to do. And I think uh, when I, when I get that on a high level, I think uh, you know being able to finish games is uh, going to be something that happens uh, in a lot of nights. But when you threw the towel, what were you most mad at? myself for getting that foul you know I, you know I know I know a team needs me and uh, you know I got to be smarter with those fouls and uh, I will be I know I know like from these games I'll learn well you know what can I do and what can I, what I cannot do in uh, on defense and I think uh, you know it was a it was a good for me to that happen last night and uh, you know now I know what I got to do for the rest of the series. Thanks, Avita. Have a good practice. Yep, thank you.